Tonight, we review the Mars movie that doesn't have the woman with three breasts. We're doing The Martian. Welcome to the Final Call Movie Review Show. I am J-Dub with... Mason. And tonight we are doing last year's The Martian with Matt Damon, Jessica, Ch yeah, excuse me, Jessica Chastain, uh, directed by Ridley Scott. Basically, Matt Damon plays Mark Watney, who is a NASA, uh, NASA astronaut, is out on an expedition with his team when a pretty substantial occurrence happens. They have to leave suddenly, have to abandon Mars. He gets left behind. They think he's dead, but he's not. And now he has to figure out a way to not only survive on Mars, but the fact that they've already made it so far past Mars on their way back to Earth, it would be something like three or four hours, or excuse me, three or four hours, <laughs> in his best dreams, three or four years before they could send any type of care package or anything of the like out to him. So he has to figure out a way to survive by himself on a planet where there is no other life form, and no other life form means you can't grow shit. Tale of survival all the way. Funny, one of the best soundtracks in recent years that I could think of when it comes to the usage of uh, old 70s movies, excuse me, 70s movies music. Uh, the cast, on point, Ridley Scott, never never disappoints special effects everything everything about this movie was amazing this was actually my pick for last year's best picture until I saw Spotlight Oof. well I liked it I enjoyed it it's uh it's a little long it's kind of long winded they just go and go and go things just keep happening it's just like it's like a video game where you, you get about halfway and you go how much more of this shit am I going to have to go through here, huh? How much more of this shit am I going to have to put up with? But, with that said, it is a funny, enjoyable movie. I was a little bit annoyed with the guy at the theater that I saw it with, because he was laughing like we were at motherfucking Richard Pryor, and I wanted to go up to him and smack the shit out of him. It ain't that fucking funny, man. It's amusing. It's not a barrel full of fucking monkeys, man. It's funny, but it's not, you know, side-splitting laughter. It's no Zoolander. I mean, it's a fucking sci-fi movie. But like I said, it's a good sci-fi movie. It's well done. It's well directed. It's well cast. Jessica Chastain, how you doing? What's up? I like redheads. Hell, I like women. What's up, ladies? Kate Mara. Hey, now. But back to the point. The movie is good. Matt Damon does a good job. Ooh, I gotta bring up how the fact that he was on Mars for so long, obviously there's gonna be some uh, loss of muscle mass. He did all that in real life. Like all the skin and bones that you see, none of that is CGI. That was Matt Damon. So props to you, man. Yeah, you method fuck. so angry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a rough year. But uh, on a scale from 1 to 100. Scale from 1 to 100, I confidently give The Martian a 94. Oh, oh, my God. Well, I'm going to have to go somewhat lower than that and give it an 84. Yeah, an 84. I'll go with that. But I also say to see it, it's worth watching. Absolutely. Man, that's, <laughs> that's about all. That's all I have to say about that. So, this is the Final Call Movie Review Show. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please subscribe to us on YouTube, Facebook. Check us out on Instagram, all the good stuff. Um, there'll be links below, descriptions. Thanks, thanks to check out. Please check it out. Let us know what you think. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And enjoy.